Hey, I'm Ricky here at South Austin Barbershop, and I'm going to be giving Taylin a haircut and a beard trim today. So, did you want to do like a two or a three on top? What did you uh, think about? A two on top, and then like a low skin fade. A low skin fade, and then blend the beard in. Just kind of bring it down to like a two or a one. Go for one, yeah. Go for a one. Yeah, two on top. Normally with this haircut, we would like do a two all over and then taper it out. But uh, we were talking about it last night. I sent him another video of a of the haircut we did on uh, my friend, and it was a low bald fade. So that's what we were talking about getting him today. Later, brother. Have a good one. Uh, low bald fade. All right. Like a two on top. He's gonna bring his beard down a lot today. Okay. Uh, no, when it comes to like a low bald fade, okay. I drop it a lot more instead of going straight through. Cause even though this is low, I try to keep a lot of it up here. But I drop that way. It gives me more of a blend to keep this low. Low bald fades are the ones I struggle with the most. Or I used to, but it was funny, like I struggled with them the most, and that's what I started getting the most. And eventually I was like getting the hang of it more. Just a very simple haircut. But it's gonna look nice. I think a lot of people focus on that too much on the on the crazy extra haircuts and kind of like lose sight or focus on basic barbering and just basic haircuts are what's going to walk through the barbershop every day compared to the crazy blowout that's colored and so if that's what's going to walk through the most try to give better service on it and that's what's going to be here.
Sometimes on the creases of the head, it'll look darker, so I like go shorter to try to make it not look heavy in that spot. So sometimes you gotta go shorter and stretch the skin out. Because there would be times where I would look in the mirror and you can see it. And it would look like a line, but just a crease of their head. That's a one guard opened up, creating my next guide. The mirror never lies. I think this is one of the better techniques is to have it just the corner of the blade blending out some heavy spots. A one on the beard? Yep. It's gonna be real short. Um, you sure? I guess, uh, maybe a two then. I mean, we can do the two first, and then if you wanna go shorter, we can. So it's gonna be pretty short. Dramatically. Thank you, sir. Check this out real quick. It's a two right there. That's a two. You want to go shorter than that? That's good right there. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah, it's pretty good. Got to thank Felipe for that one. Felipe's got some good music choices.
got it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to just change this one. I'm doing this man's beard right now, all right? I'm doing this man's beard right now. She's up. Golly. What's up, brother? Next one, sir. Push that in a little bit. Try to lift your chin up just a little. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Don't move. Tell me if this is too hot. Oh, it's, it's fine. Not too hot. It's good? Good. Put a little bit of beard oil. It's like thick, so it's gonna help the hairs lay down, and then whatever hairs are still left up, I'm gonna trim them up with the shears.
party like a haircut party except the party over at beard brand alliance where we're doing self-grooming self-improvement and a little bit of challenges you want to have a good time over there so come join us